I don't know if we should get into anime. I watched an anime. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we're an anime podcast. Oh you know we're an anime, an anime podcast? Yeah. I watched an anime. How, I, what did you watch? <laughs> Squid Game. <laughs> I, watched, I watched Squid Game, watched, a.k.a. Okay. Kaiji. Yeah. Yeah. I watched High Rise Invasion. What the fuck is that? Exactly. What the fuck is that? I watched High Rise Invasion on Netflix. Is that a new is that, is that an anime? anime? A, look it up. Google it. It's, got, it's got a Japanese name. Um, oh. you want High Rise Invasion? What's the manga called in Japanese? Tenku Namake. When did this get released? What the Wait, fuck? Wait, can I see? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I've never heard of this anime right, before. Right. So yeah, yeah. There's, there's, if I'm mistaken, there's a manga about this. Tenku Shinhan. Yeah. So so what happened was is that yeah. I was like I was like I told myself I'm gonna watch the first anime I see on Netflix. <laughs> Why? What the fuck is this? And so, I've never and so, seen this. And so I watched it, right? And mm -hmm. I, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I quite enjoyed it. Really? It wasn't. It wasn't amazing, but it was, yeah. it was good fun. The it's dub, a, it's the a dub six was very good. Six on IMDb. Yeah. yeah, that's and so when I when I when I started watching it, it was the it felt like the most six point six show. <laughs> <laughs> it was just good. I, I had a fun time. Yeah, it was just I good. Had a fun time. It was very interesting and stupid at times and dumb, but right. but interesting. You, you should guys should uh, check it out. Do you want me to explain the plot to you? Actually? Please go go on. So, whoa, Connor explaining the plot or not, to us. Believe it or not, <laughs> this is only the most scuffed plot explanation of, of any anime ever. We're used to it. All right, so this main character, I forgot her name already, wakes up on the top of a <laughs> nice. high rise building uh -huh. and you, mm -hmm. you, you, can, you can't <laughs> go down the stairs of the high rise. Okay. You can only cross like wooden bridges to get to other high rise buildings. Right, right. And there's these dudes that are wearing these masks that are like budget, um, anonymous looking masks, mm, yeah. smiley masks, and they're trying and to kill you. Vendetta masks. Yeah, and, and they're trying to, they're, they're not trying to kill you. They're trying to get you to jump off the building by making you have such despair. But that goes out the window within like 10 seconds and, and people, they just start trying to kill you. Right. So it, it's one of those things, it's one of those things where they build it up to be like a really big plot point. They're like, they want to make you feel despair and jump yourself. And then immediately- What like, do they just come up to you and they're like, can you jump off, please? And then, and pretty then, free, and then, like, pretty free. Okay. And then like immediately they then just, the, the, these masks people just start killing everyone. And then it was like, wait, so that, so that wasn't, that wasn't important. I don't know. Uh, but then- it's just B plot that. And then the, these, Masks are like controlling people and we're trying to find out what's going on. And mm. there's some other, uh, they're all isekai. So it's all, all these characters oh, from- now I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, 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 all these characters- Why didn't you say so earlier, Connor? All, all, you can stop talking now. All, yeah, all these characters come from a different world and they wake up on high rise buildings and have to go from different high rise. And there's like masks that control them and it's kind of shit, but it's, it was, <laughs> it was interesting enough. I had a fun time. I, I, you That's know what? Well, it was nice watching a show and not caring if it was going to be good or bad. Mm. Yeah. And I enjoyed it. Yeah. And the dub was very good. Very good. Very good oh, fair enough. The dichotomy, because I, the, I think like this was, this was the longest stretch where I went not watching an anime at all. Damn. And uh, actually picked up a JRPG that uh, I like got fucking- Tales of Arise. Like, Tales of Arise. I see. I see. Yeah. Is it, was it good? It was fucking amazing, man. <sighs> Why did you have to say that? Now I have to get it. <laughs> it's it's like, it's it's the first time I played a JRPG and like, I'm just like, And wow. actually completed it? <laughs> oh, no, I like, I like, I like not only, I, I not only completed it, I think I'm like close to 100% in it as well. <laughs> oh my God. Like it's the only fucking JRPG where I, I cared about it so much and yeah. I didn't want the journey to end that I 100% 100%ed the fucking fishing mini game. Okay, I caught <laughs> That's how you know. I caught every fish in this game. That's how so you know. So I could see every skit that there was available <laughs> in the game, okay? How many hours have you put in this? Huh? How many hours have you put in this game? Uh, At the moment, about 80 hours. Oh so like for, for JRPG oh lengths, that's, that's actually not, not- That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not like you can- you Especially for a 100% run, that's but not like, yeah, that's but pretty like, short. We're talking 80 hours in like the past two weeks, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, what else was he gonna do during what, quarantine? What else was I gonna do during quarantine, know, man? Know, <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's, uh, I mean, like one thing that really surprised me is that it really got me to care about game mechanics. I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here for the story and characters. Yeah. And then I just got really absorbed. JRPG fans find out that <laughs> games, games can be good. And then I just got really absorbed into the combat system of this game. Mm. And I'm just like, how did you trick my, how did you trick my non-gamer brain into caring about this shit, <laughs> right? Because, because like I've played so many Tales games and the reason I got into Tales was because it had like a real time combat system. Yeah, and I, that was- I, I played uh, Bazaria and I didn't like Bazaria? it. Bazaria? Bazaria, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that was in the time where I only really got into Tales games because 
every other JRPG was turn back com uh, turn based combat with random encounters. And Tales yeah. was like, no, 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 no. How about you have a real time battle system with enemies that you can see when you get into a battle, right? Mm. And then that kind of like, as time gone on, that became more normalized in a lot of JRPGs. Like, you know, you see the modern Final Fantasy and it's basically just, and it's, it's an action RPG with yeah. some turn based systems mm implemented into it. Mm. And so for the longest time, I still played Tales games, but they weren't, they didn't grab me as much as say back in the old school days where mm. this was the only type of JRPG there was that had this type of system. Mm. And so I, I like my love for the Tales series had like waned a bit. So when I got Tales of Arise, I only got it because people were just like, yeah, it's a new Tales game. And I'm like, I'm a Tales fan. Maybe I'll just play this for like, I'm more of a Sonic guy. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a Tales fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ignore I'm that sorry. for a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was terrible. I'm glad you said it before I did. <laughs> I, I, you kept saying tails, and I just kept thinking. Yeah, like I was Sonic. in my head. I was. I was just imagining <laughs> fucking. So like, I'm, I, a big, I, I'm a big tails fan. <laughs> sorry, like, if I wasn't in quarantine, I wouldn't have played it. And yeah. then on the first day, I just like I played it for like a good ten hours, and I was like, oh no. Oh no, I'm invested. <laughs> and like, if there's one thing you don't want to be invested in, it's the JRPG because you just have to basically write off like mm. two, three weeks of your life yeah, if, that, yeah, if yeah. that happens. Pretty much. And it was like, well, it's been such a long time where, you know, you know, like when you were so absorbed into a game that every waking moment, you're you not playing the game. game. Yeah. You, you're either playing the game or you're thinking about playing yeah. the game. I miss that feeling. Yeah, yeah, and I, it, was, it was fucking great. And uh, the combat system in this is like closer to something like Devil May Cry than it is like previous Tales oh, okay. game. Like you can, you can, you can do like fucking ridiculous amounts of combos in this game, right? Okay, can I kind of can I go off about the game mechanics? Do you care about the game mechanics at all? Um, sure. I mean, it's better than you talking about Arrow game. So I, I, I'd love to hear how you like it. Okay, so in most Tales games that I played before, it's just like fucking button mashing. Like you, you press- Yeah, that's what I didn't like about it. Yeah. The last time I played it. Yeah, and you can get through a lot of this game through just button mashing. Mm. And then like, it, there's there's this really weird difficulty curve where the later part of the, parts of the game, you like before, in every Tales games, you can just get away with like tapping one button, tapping a special attack, anything like that. But then they've built, they've layered so many different systems onto this combat system from like previous Tales yeah. games that you can, you, you realize you can just start layering shit over like things over things over yeah. things over things. So they introduce you to you like you already have you can only do a certain amount of moves for before your character goes back into a rest state, right? Mm. So you can you can only do like three basic attacks and enough enough basic enough special attacks before your meter runs dry. But then if you juggle the enemy, you add more basic attacks on on top oh, of that, right? Right, right? And then on top of that, you have group you have group attacks as well. Yeah, where where that. people in your party can also join in on an attack. And then what I didn't realize is that Tails added this system where you can switch to another person mid like like mid battle. So you don't have to pause the game to switch to another character. Mm. You can literally, it's a tap of one button. You can switch yeah, to another that, person. Yeah. So you basically, you can basically chain combos, end combo with one person, then switch to like, do a special attack with another person, switch to that person. And so the system awards, awards people who are able to chain really good combos. Cause if you get your combo meter long enough, then you can do basically a finishing attack, yeah, it right? Looked, it looked kind of like Genshin a little bit. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's basically like it did. It was a lot like Genshin, except yeah. having, except not having just one person, but having four people. Yeah, in but stage like I, in the one sense time. of that, you're change when you're playing Genshin from what, how much I yeah. play it, you change. And, and, yeah, yeah, but there's it's like way more in depth than Genshin. I would say it it is it does have <clears throat> some similarities to the Genshin combat system, but it's like way more in depth, and you can get combos that are like way longer than Genshin. Yeah. You can get like hundred uh, hit combos sometimes. The Jesus. only thing that I found really funny, and, and I don't know if this is the whole game, but I was watching someone stream it on Twitch and they were mm -hmm. fighting this dragon. And during this fight, every single character was saying their voice lines at every single point. Yeah. And I yeah. was like, what the fuck is this? I can't hear anything. Everyone is just <laughs> screaming their own attacks. Yeah. Is, is, that, is that happening all the time? Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's pretty standard for a JRPG. But I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear what anyone was saying yeah. because everyone was shouting their attacks. And I was like, "What? Is, what is?" What I mean, it's the same with like uh, like Xenoblade as well, right? Like when you when you fight oh, that shit, I can't watch because that annoys yeah. me. To, Xenoblade annoys me watching Xenoblade because I'm just hearing everyone da 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 da, yeah. and it's everyone but it's like four at people at the yeah. same yeah. time. Yeah. Attacking. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, do you, don't you like that? No, I what? can't because I can't hear what everyone's saying. It's just noise. You don't have to hear what they're saying. I I I can't. Even if I wanted to, I can't hear it. 
It's not. It's not like they're giving like important information. I just, I just wish that it, it was like I don't know when I was watching as a I don't know from a viewing experience. Yeah. It was very annoying. At least, yeah. uh, right from a gaming, it was probably didn't give a shit. Pretty yeah, focused. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think if you're. I think if you're like, watching it, yeah, yeah, as a viewer, it might get a little bit annoying because that's the only thing you're focusing yeah, in yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. But again, it's not like they're gonna be like they're gonna drop like huge narrative <laughs> plot points as they're going. Dad, yo, I'm your dad. No, 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 I know. I know. I know. I was just like, this is too loud. Shut up. Because like on top of that as well. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the characters will have conversations that, with each other as they're like, as they're screaming, as they're screaming their attacks. <laughs> I mean, there's there is a lot of things going on. I love that. I love that about tales. Yeah, uh, it's kind of campy. That's, about that's, it. that's that's the anime side that I yeah. live for. You know, yeah, there's it's, something super campy about it that I love. It's yeah. like one person is like being like, "Hey, that was a good shot," and the other one's like, "Ah!" <laughs> it's like, all right, you're not listening. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed pretty cool though. It seemed, huh? it seemed pretty like it, a it lot is, better. It, uh, Combat system than before. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, I, don't, I don't. I don't trust people who prefer um, turn-based combat over that. I'm just like, what's wrong with you? Who hurt you? I mean, <laughs> who hurt? Who hurt? Do you, do uh, uh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Why? Who is it? Who is it? Huh? Who in the studio likes turn-based combat? I didn't say anything. I absolutely despise turn-based combat. I, I fucking hate it. <laughs> No, oh, it's so boring. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm with Connor on this one. It's just I, we except we, for Persona. We haven't five. figured out a way to make it fun. So we keep using the same shitty thing because we know it yeah. sort of works, but like no one's happy Jerry, about right? it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, don't like turn I don't like turn-based combat. I don't. I, I don't know. I'm I'm just used to it so much to the point where like. I but don't that's think the thing, though. I think that's 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 why people. But, like, yeah, I like, get it. If you didn't grow up with it, it's fucking annoying. Yeah, sure. and I I think it's just because it's one of the it's a thing that we haven't figured out a better way. Mm. And I still feel that some games, the whole real-time combat in the way is still kind of jank at times. Yeah. Sounds like it's 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 good. It's really good. Like, Sounds it, like they finally figured it out a little bit. Yeah, it's it's really good because because they teach you the basics and then they don't teach you all these like more advanced yeah. techniques that you can do to like basically extend your extend your combos and yeah. like make flashier moves. But they give you gameplay incentives. Like I said, like if you get a combo for long yeah. enough without stopping it, mm. then you can do a finishing move yeah. on an enemy. And like when they're when they're high health it's harder than when they're low health. So the combo meter builds right, up faster sense. when yeah, they're low health. Yeah, yeah. So like when, when you, sometimes you start off a battle and depending on how well you can get your combo off, because when, when you kill one enemy, enemy with a finishing move, that makes it easier to do the next enemy and the next enemy, and it's, it's kind of like a domino effect, I right? Mm. So you can, you can, depending on your, the difficulty, if you start off a battle well, you can clear the enemy so fast or you you can like get KO'd really easily depending on like how mm. well you start off your mm. how well you start off your attacks and your combos, which is just well, some good. which is just something that I never experienced before in a Tales game because Tales was always I'm playing because I like it and it's anime and it's JRPG. Like story. And mm. then and the combat the combats here just is just to like forget make me forget about the fact that I just hate grinding and mm. combats uh, and like- Yeah, I don't like grinding. And turn-based mm. battles, but this one was just, it, it's legit good game. It's, I can see why it's like the closest thing Tales has got to a, like a mainstream release yeah. mm. uh, because it is a legit good game that I think a lot of people who don't even like JRPGs would like. Mm. Um, so yeah, Maybe highly, I'll highly I've, been tem right. I've been tempted ever since they announced it and I'm do just it. like, do I, it, I can't do it do to it. myself. Do it. I have so many fucking JRPGs lined up that I still need to play. Like, I still haven't played the fucking like uh, near replicant. I have like the I haven't played that either. Yeah. I bought that on Steam and it's just been sitting there. I'm just like, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> that, that, that's that's Steam. That's how it is. Yeah, that's like, how you I'll, know I'll get to it eventually. And then they were like, okay, there's five you know, more JRPGs. I, I bought Sega uh, base fish, not base bass. Fuck, why I keep saying Sega bass fishing, and I never bought it. I never played Sega it. Sega bass fishing, the fishing game. The, oh, the, the Sega Genesis. Why? Game. Why not, God? <laughs> because Sega Bass Fishing. I actually think we should do a Trash Taste special. We do high score on Sega Bass Fishing. <laughs> can we just Look go, at that game. Look at that. Can, can we just go real fishing? I'd rather uh, go yeah, real fishing. I'd rather fish. just yeah. go real fishing. And then play Sega I also Bass really want to play the new fucking Nickelodeon fighting oh, game as well. Oh, that came out. <laughs> they actually made it into like a serious like fighter yeah, as well. That's, yeah. And apparently oh someone's already figured out that some characters are just fucking of broken. Of course they We're gonna be getting patch notes for days and tier lists. Yeah, SpongeBob is S tier. Patrick is D tier. SpongeBob bottom tier. <laughs> bottom tier is SpongeBob, bro. Oh man. Oh my God.